So you Are we ready? Ready, ready now. Good Thank luck, Ben. Thank you. Hello there, my name's Jess and I'm a student nurse. Hello, Jess. Um, I've, put, I've just checked your wound care plan and it says that you're due for a dressing change. Okay. Have you had it changed before? Yes, a couple of days ago. Okay. And would it be convenient to undertake the dressing change now? Yes, it's all right. It should take about 20 minutes. Do you need to go to the toilet? No, I'm fine, thank you. And did you need any uh, pain relief in order for the dressing to be changed? No, no, I don't. Okay, thank you. Um, so I'm going to just um, close the window and make sure the environment's clean before I undertake the dressing. Thank you. And I'm just going to get my equipment ready and I'll be back shortly. Okay, good. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm checking that the uh, pack size, it's in date and it's intact. Again, I'm checking the solution, that it's intact and in date. I'll use alcohol prep just to clean the top of the surface of the same. The dressing is the same to replace and it's in depth.
to the alcohol gel as that will be returned to the clinical area. Yes, I am. And are you happy for me to proceed with the dressing? Yes, of course. Thank you. I'm just going to um, just close all the curtains as well, so we've got some privacy. Yeah. I've chosen to uh, close the curtains before gelling my hands, otherwise I'd have to decontaminate okay. twice. Good, thank you for letting me know. I'm just going to raise the bed up now, just so it's a more convenient height for me to work at. I'm observing that the wound dressing looks dry. The wound care plan didn't suggest that there was any sign of infection. So I'm going to just come round and loosen the edges of the dressing so it's easier to remove. Okay, good. Thank good. you. This shouldn't cause you any pain, but just let me know if there's any irritation or pain. Okay. going to proceed to lay out my sterile field. I'm going to use the apron within the pack. However, I don't anticipate the wound um, causing uh, any contamination across my uniform, but as I'm using saline, I just want to um, ensure there's some protection. Good. Remove the old dressing now. Again, a little bit of pulling on your skin. Thank you. So I'm observing 
the dressing, um, sorry, the wound. There doesn't appear to be any signs of inflammation and the wound size is, is less. I'm just going to uh, clean the opening of the sew line and I would wait for 30 seconds. Okay. Thank you. that you were able to move the arm. I'm just yes. going to place a dressing towel underneath just for any protection. Thank you. So if it's okay, I'm just going to give the area a clean. Okay, thank you. How was it that it happened? Well, I just had an injury at the backyard of my house there. Just gardening and fall down and right. was wound there. And it's not happened before? No, that's the first time. It seems to be healing well though. Oh, good, thank you. That's good news. And you didn't have any other injuries? No, that, just this. So a wound would need to be moist to help promote healing, but just to ensure the adhesive sticks, I'm just going to give around the wound edge a clean to make, okay. them, to make sure it's dry. Good. So I'm just going to place the new dressing for you. Just making sure it's secure over the wound. Does that feel comfortable? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So I'm happy just to help remove that dressing.
just going to lower the bed now. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm just going to document what I've done, and then I'll um, I'll just be back if you need anything else. Thank you. Thank you very much.